Go. Okay, no. Hello. Thank you for uh, participating. I know you really didn't have a choice. Um, today we're going to be learning about Milton S. Hershey, a story of a man's sweet success. Now, who is Mr. Hershey? Well, he's an American confectioner, a philanthropist, and the founder of Hershey's Chocolate Company. Everyone is familiar with his work, right? You've all heard of Hershey's Chocolate, like the Hershey's Bar. Yeah. All right. So, does does anyone know what an American confectioner is? Uh uh. It's uh he. I think it's a guy who makes sweets. Yes, it is. I just a confectioner is a person who makes candy or I sweets. I just used how he made sweets. Good, thank you. All right, what about a philanthropist? Oh. Yes. I've heard it before, and I think it's um. I've heard it, and I know it, but I forget it. You forgot it. All right, a philanthropist is a person that has dedicated his time to helping others. All right. Early life. Milton Hershey was born September 13, 1857, to Fanny Snavely and Henry Hershey. His dad moved a lot around a lot when he was younger, so he had a limited education. He only completed the fourth grade. Some of you, some of you are in the fifth grade. You're, you've gotten more education than him, huh? All right. After that, three years later, he did an apprenticeship at the, the printing press in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Uh, that didn't work out too well because he was very clumsy and he ended up dropping his straw hat in a printing press. And he got himself fired. All right, and then after that, he had an apprenticeship with Joel Royer. His mother paid for him to do a four-year apprenticeship with him. Joel Royer was a confectioner himself, and this is where Mr. Hershey learned how to make candies, specifically caramels and whatnot. After that, he attempted to do it on his own, and he moved to Philadelphia, but it didn't work out, so he ended up moving to New York. Chicago, New Orleans, and then back to Lancaster. Okay. All right, so when he moved back to Lancaster, he finally had his big success. When he was gone on his own, he learned that milk, fresh milk made the best candy. So using his new knowledge, he decided that he was going to make caramels out of fresh milk, with fresh milk, and it was a success. He made the Hershey Crystal A's, and his company, Lancaster Caramel Company, made him his first million dollar success. Okay, after that, he went to a, a convention in Chicago in 1893, and this is the first time he ever tried milk chocolate. Does everyone like milk chocolate? Yes. yes. No, you don't like milk chocolate? Oh, man. All right. So when he was at this convention, he became fascinated about the German chocolate machinery. And he decided that he was going to buy himself the same machinery for his own factory back in Lancaster. So he set out to perfect a recipe for the American public because back then, Milk chocolate was considered a Swiss luxury, which means that it was very expensive and not everyone had the chance to enjoy some chocolate. In 1900, he ended up selling his company, the Lancaster Caramel Company, for a million dollars. And then he built his Hershey's he built his company, Hershey's Chocolate Company, and later that year he produced the Hershey's Chocolate Bar. We saw earlier. Yeah. Yeah, All right. <laughs> okay. Building a town. In 1903, 
Hershey built his factory in Derry Township. This was the same place that he was born, so it was very important to him. Um, in 1906, the town came to be known as Hershey, Pennsylvania. Wow. Yes, he built the entire town for his factory workers and everything else. He decided that he was going to build parks and a theater and museums to make sure that his residents were happy there. All right, in, in 1898, Hershey married his wife, Kitty Sweeney, as you can see in the picture over there. Um, Kitty and Hershey couldn't have kids, so they decided that they were going to benefit orphan children. Um, in 1909, they established the Hershey Industrial School for Orphan Boys. In 1918, he gave his first. In 1918, this was three years after his wife passed away, she had a short-lived life, and he decided that he was going to give all his personal finances over to the school as well as rights to his company. This means that his savings that he was saving up for himself, he gave them to this school. And the rights to his company, like who is going to be in charge when he retires, that was also passed on to the school. All right, late life. In 1935, Mr. Hershey decided that he was going to. One second, let me. I All right, Mr. Hershey decided that he was going to. Going to. Uh, make a foundation. This foundation was called the M.S. Hershey Foundation, and it was set to uh, it was set to provide educational and cultural opportunities for the Hershey residents and supply funding for the three entities. Do we know what entities are? No. The he died three businesses. He died in October. The Hershey Museum and the Hershey Gardens, and the Hershey Theater, and lastly, the Hershey Community Archives. Hershey never remarried after Kitty passed away, and he looked after his own company. Yeah. He looked after his own company up until his death in October of 1945. After that, in 19... 1951, the school that we just learned about, do you remember? Yeah. It was renamed Milton Hershey School. Wow. All right, summary of points. Milton S. Hershey was an influential being that worked hard in his life, and he never let his failures get him down. He succeeded at being a candy maker, founded Hershey's Chocolate, built a town, and benefited children in need. In closing, I hope that when you pick up some Hershey's products like this, or Hershey's Kisses, you can remember what this great man has left. All right? Thank you, and I hope you enjoy the chocolate that I am about to give to you. What?